Yo out there, my name is Brian Joe. This is just a quick video. This is the recap of the video. So there's a lot of restoration work going on in this video. There's bigger holes in the wall than I first saw. And uh, the window was quite badly damaged and there was quite some work needed to be done on the ceiling. So this is a quick video of all the repairs that took place. So obviously some people, they ain't holier than thou, hooligan, when they talk to you. Unlike me, who Francis of Assisi said, see you geezer. You're a blinder. So please like, enjoy the video. If you don't like it, look, it's just me being narcissistic, bowling about looking hench and buff for the video, all right? So enjoy it, like it. Haters gonna hate, don't. Right, these plastic buckets, one quid, pucka, mate. Put water in it, clean all the stuff down, the windows, the windies over there. And then you chuck the water out and you put paint in it. And I think it's one of those, it's like, it's like the tofu plastic, you know what I mean? It's not real plastic, it's snide plastic. So it's a good idea. Actually, wait, look. These Foot Locker people, mate, they gave me two different Adidas Stan Smiths, mate, and they wouldn't change them. One's black, look, one's got a white tongue. One white there, one black there. Liberty takers. I'm just starting a painting channel just so I can get enough subscribers to shut them down and go all over them, mate. Get the window up. Scrub because there's a lot of dirt. This is quite a while over here. I, mean, I have to admit, I can see why Van Gogh chopped his ear off after doing a bit of pain. It's nothing like trying to get out of bit of work. Unfortunately, unlike Van Gogh, I don't get paid if I'm not working, you know. So that sneaky geezer, he's obviously on a good contract wherever he was working for. Some say he's working for McDonald's, I think, but I don't know. They get a lot of time at McDonald's, but obviously, they're quite good. With their staff, didn't they? Right, so what we're gonna do, we get this crud off the window. And then we're gonna get everything out of the way. And we'll start on the ceiling. Unfortunately, there is a little bit, it looks like some hardened polyfiller there. I have a feeling there's some sort of glue by looks of it. it. Might be a little bit hard enough, so we're gonna have to quickly sand it down. I don't like sanding. So we'll give that a shot after. I think I might lose my left ear just to get out of it. Ah, I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm gonna get a mask for this. I don't usually wear masks. So you don't want to cover up this. No. It's like Michelangelo. Not Michelangelo, who's that geezer? Vincent the Dan the Fart. No, he's a dance player. Wow, I look like someone who's off on holiday on an aeroplane now. I look like a crazy lunatic who's going to take a big shot. <laughs> Another big hole. Right, so the sparks has moved electric boxes, so we're going to cover that up and paint it. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to sneak you away, save you money how to do it. You're right, I'm going to quickly show you how to mix up the polyfiller. Right, this thing do get an old sweet tin on it, quality bags or whatever. Get your polyfiller, I like this stuff, it's called True Prep, and get yourself a container of water. So what we do, we've got quite a lot of polyfiller, so I'm going to do a big batch, but you do as much as you need. So I just dump it in there, as you can see there. Best thing to do here, what you're going to do, you want to start on mount, but then you want to do, you want to make a hole in it like that. Make a hole, it's like building a cake, you ever do a cake or pancakes or something, you do flour, and you do a little hole for where you put the egg in. You can see that. Then you get the water, and you just pour a little bit in like that. Just a bit in, so it's not, so it doesn't break the castle. It's like a sand castle. Then you just pour, you put the bit of polyfiller on it, like that. Just you cover up the water. And once you do that, pick it up, and then you start you're mixing it together. You do it around the corners, bits like that. What you try to do? Try to get all the bits together. into a little area and you just pour a little bit more water on top just you just go a little bit these bits a little bit and you just keep 
stirring it around. Good thing about having a tin, you can keep winding it around. Again, just make a little hole, pour some more water in it. This is a big job, this one, so we don't want the poly filler too runny for this. We want it nice and dry, okay? So keep doing it. Squash it down as well while you do it. So squash it in there, squash it. And use the sides, scrape it off, get it up like that, dump it down, play around with it. Don't worry about it. Always have it dry off, then wet off, because you can always add water to it if it's dry. Right, you kind of want a consistency where it just sticks like that. Yeah. I'm not worrying about it being too smooth because it's going to be a rough first cut. Flatten it down, flatten it down, flatten it down. I tell you, I know some people buy that ready made polyfiller, but that ready made polyfiller is. You can't beat make, mixing your own bit of muck, mate, trust me. Right, I'm going to quickly show you how to do this hole. You're right, I'm going to quickly show you, right, I've got this big hole here, I'm going to show you how to, a cheaper way how to fix that hole. Right, we can use the expanding foam, that's 10 quid instantly bang on. Well, I'm going to show you what this old boy, near Michael, showed me. And he was the best carpenter I've ever seen. He said, brain off, get a bit of paper, and you shove it in a hole, not the bonus hole. You stick it like that, you pack it. Any newspaper, to be honest, unfortunately they don't seem bright. They didn't get public transport this morning. So I didn't have the opportunity, but something like the Metro, some crap thing like that, you know what I mean? They work perfect. I'll tell you something, what it is is, the paper just comes out like paper mache when you put the polyfill in it. It's just rock hard like a brick. Brilliant, it's absolutely brilliant. There you go, it's free. So we can do is pack it. It just gives you something, you want to get all the edges in it, just a bit like that. Alright, right, we've got the polyfiller. Best thing going to do with the polyfiller, let's go around the sides first. Let's go on the roof. Yeah, it's a bit like a shepherd's pie with a mashed potato, you know? So you want to do it like, just spread it around evenly around the sides so it all comes together. See, this is the size of this hole, man. I have to do some more polyfill. I need a load of polyfill for this, to be honest with you. It's such a bad way. It's not a bad way, it's an electric box and it's been cut out because they're moving it somewhere else. You could use cement if you wanted, but we haven't really got the space for cement. I'm just going to knock out some more polyfiller and I'll show you how it's done. Alright, got some more polyfiller. Mash it in. You're going to need two goes at this anyway, so what we want, this is just a rough draft as we say. First cake layer. We're just going to build some foundation. Basically, we don't want to leave ourselves too much to, to dust off. No one likes dusting. Probably the least favourite job in the building. Oh, the fault. One person's ever said, Do you know what? I, I, I like a bit of sanding. Here, go on. Give me that. Alright, we're getting there, right? And what we're going to do, we'll let that dry hard, then we'll stick another, we'll cake another layer on it. Give it a good sound, Dad. God, it's a pain in the ass, these big holes, eh? 
Right, so that is the first coat on it. What we'll do, give it a little rough going over. As soon as that dries, we'll flatten it out and it will look beautiful. You're right, got another hole to patch there, so I'm going to patch that one on and then we're going to go on to that monstrosity. I'm going to give that a little bit of flushing as well and then we're going to put a little bit on the ceiling bit. You won't be able to see it there. Just there. Yeah, there. Right, we're getting there. We chipped off all that old wood, old paint and stuff. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to sand it. All right, sometimes it can be awkward, right? The nice thing is to get, get, a little, get a screwdriver like that, wrap this uh, sandpaper around it. So, wrap it around it. it Give you a nice little rolly sandpaper. All right, so it should look like that. So, you get in like that, and you can go along. Nice, want it like that. So try that, yeah. Drop it like that. Just get a screwdriver on the fin. It's great for going along. Otherwise, sometimes sandpaper can break away. Right, what we're gonna do now? We're gonna get a bit of wood filler and then we're gonna go over that. We're gonna make it look pretty, mate. <laughs> Is there anything better than wood filling a bit of wood? It's not like one of them crap TV programs where someone comes in looking a bit rough. And then they leave looking a million dollars, mate. Right, this is the wood filler. It's really good, this wood filler. And this is the kind of, this is the texture you want it. So you want it, you want it sticking to your spreader like that. Look at it, sticks like that. Because you don't want it running everywhere and falling all over the floor. It's this stuff here, two prepped. It's really good, I like two prepped. It's probably the best. You don't have to add no glue to it or nothing, or hardener or resin. This stuff will do the job. To get it like that can texture, and you can always add, you can sprinkle little bits of water on it with your fingers and the best way to do it with uh, poly filler, or wood filler, whatever you want to do. 